spend in a miserable way. U.S. News Good Samaritan pays for hotel rooms for 70 homeless people during polar vortex. An anonymous donor paid for 70 homeless people to stay in a hotel in Chicago amid near record low temperatures. The people were camping out in tents overnight despite the bitter cold, with temperatures plunging to 22 degrees Fahrenheit with a wind chill of 49 degrees below zero. On Tuesday night, January the 29th, the group camped on state-owned land near the Dan Ryan Expressway, but on Wednesday one of about 175 donated propane cylinders at the encampment exploded after being placed too close to a space heater. Officers rushed over and declared the tent city unsafe. This is extremely unsafe, Major. David Bird, there was a significant amount of propane there, and with that many cylinders, that's like the bomb going off, Schroeder told the Salvation Army officials began preparing to move those who had been staying in the tent city to a Salvation Army warming center but the city called about an hour later and said an anonymous Good Samaritan offered to pick up the tab for the people to stay in a hotel. All but one man accepted the offer. That man went to the all the folks there. Some wonderful citizen is going to put all of them up at a hotel for the rest of the week. Salvation Army spokeswoman Jacqueline Rakev said, Is that wonderful? Good Samaritan picks up hotel tab for 70 homeless as Chicago flirts with all-time cold record. You Jim Kirk at Kirk Gym 12. Doctors and other volunteers visited homeless encampments amid the bitter temperatures, trying to help anyone who needed assistance. Drive Ralph Ryan, a retired cardiologist, is a volunteer with a street medicine van operated by non-profit Night Ministry. The group rolled up, Ryan moved from tent to tent and asked if anyone needed anything. If he got no response, one 53-year-old woman, Karen, who was staying in a tent, told Ryan what clothes she was wearing. Pants, sweatpants, long underwear, a long sleeve shirt, two sweatshirts, a jacket two pairs of socks, and sneakers. She said her feet felt numb and that she might have to go to a shelter. But Ryan said that they tell us what they think we want to hear a lot of the time, Ryan said. A wind chill warning was still in effect in northeastern Illinois and other parts of the Midwest on Thursday, according to the Dangerous cold this morning and accumulating snow this afternoon and evening dangerously cold wind chills of 25 to 45 below zero, the service stated. The cold wind chills can cause frostbite on exposed skin in as little as 10 minutes, the agency said. A wind chill warning means the combination of very cold air and the wind will create dangerously low wind chill value. Frostbite can... Smoking no cooking the hot pot. I get fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the court pot.